only one person. The rest that are baptized also will come to you later. Let's go on. But he who does not believe will be condemned. So if you are not baptized, according, I am not the one who is saying it. According to the word of God, you are not a believer. You are not a believer. If you believed, and you really believe, you must go through baptism, baptism. For the world to see that you have denied the word, and now you are part of the Christ kingdom. Amen. Let's go on. And I'm coming. So you are, if you are baptized, one way or the other, it's just like you have a citizen card in Belgium. If police control you, that tells the police that now I am a citizen of this country. So if you are not baptized, it means you are illegal in the kingdom, according to the word of I'm not the one who is saying it. Hallelujah. According to the word of God. So everybody that believes must deny the word and be part of that kingdom. Because of your time, I will not elaborate much about it. Let's go. And these signs will follow those who believe. So, now comes the pretenders. The one with fake passport in the kingdom. You see, when you read the word of God very carefully, you see that most of us, we are just pretenders. We are just pretenders. Christ knew that many will come with fake passports as if they are part of the church, but they are not part of the church. So he said, if I am saying that everybody that believes must be baptized, all of them they were baptized. Meanwhile, they have not repented from their hearts and pretend to be part of the church. So for me to know the truth that they are baptized, he said what? This sign, you see, even here he's telling you that a sign, only baptism alone must bring a sign. Let's go. We follow those who believe. In my name, they will cast out demons. If you are baptized here, listen, this is not a work of pastor. <coughs> this is not a work of a bookshop. He should keep his books. <laughs> <laughs> This is for somebody who has gone through baptism. Yeah. If that person believes in his name, the kingdom that you belong to, yeah. the kingdom in his name, you will do what? Yeah. You will cast out demons. Yeah. You see, what you are afraid of, <laughs> immediately you are baptized. <laughs> There's authority given to you. Yeah. 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 Oh, it is my prayer that if we are baptized here, Hallelujah. today, you will see that God has given you the authority Amen. to disturb those who are disturbing you. Amen. Holy Spirit, keep me cool. <laughs> Let's go. And in my name, they will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues. You see, somebody is baptized here. When you are talking of tongues, say it's not important. Hey, according to the word of God, if you believe the word of God, it should be a sign that you are part of the kingdom. Yes. <coughs> Just imagine somebody with Belgian nationality and at a border. <laughs> a border. <coughs> Policeman has taken your passport. And I'm a rag here. We yeah. hate here. He said, yeah. <laughs> yeah, meanwhile, your passport, the name there is not here. <laughs> Don't you know that he will embarrass you? Yes. The next thing is that, please, can you follow me? No. Because, oh, no, that's sorry, right, that's right. You see, because he asked you what is your name and you say, yeah, yeah. You, even though he didn't understand what he asked, he tells him that you are holding a fake passport. So you see, many Christians are holding fake passports. In my name, you will cast out demons. You will speak new tongues. And you are 
are saying that tongue speaking is not important. You are not part of the kingdom. That's the reason why you see that tongues is not important. Let's continue. They will take our serpents and they will drink anything deadly. It will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Amen. 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 If you believed and you are controlled, you must demonstrate this to the policeman that I am part of the kingdom. What he was saying here that if the devil comes to ask you, are you part of the kingdom? Show me your passport. If you are part of the kingdom, you can demonstrate those things to the enemy. For him to say that, yeah, you are part of the kingdom. So you have authority to cast him out from your presence. You have authority to heal the sick because God has given you that mandate. Are you part of the kingdom? Ask yourself. Are you part of the kingdom? I told you that you don't need to go to Bible school before you can do that. No. Immediately you believe that must follow you. To prove to the world that now you are not part of the worldly kingdom again, but you are part of Christ's kingdom. Then we live with signs and wonders. No weapon that fighting against you shall prevail. Because there's something in you that can resist everything from the devil. There's a caterpillar in you that can destroy anything that steps in your way. I want you to get annoyed and know where God has placed you and tell yourself that today I'm going to my destiny. Amen. Today I am going to where God has placed me. Amen. Because only believing only believe alone. I can heal. Listen, those things that you believe, sometimes when you see the elders doing it, and you admire. According to Hebrews 5, coming to 6, chapter 5, from 14, coming entering to chapter 6, he said, they are primary things. They are Primary things. Things that we learn when we are at primary school. So your baptism test brings you to primary school where you can practice those small, small things. So tell me then when you get to the secondary school and the universe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? And the point that I'm coming from. God has called us as a church to do exploits. Those who know their God, according to Daniel 11, 32, they will do exploits. I'm bringing my message to an end. For your time here. But ask yourself, am I part of his kingdom? If you are part of the kingdom, know that God is backing you everything that you are doing. Amen. God is backing you in everything that you are doing. <clears throat> the year that you are about to enter, 2017, because today you are changing where you are, 2017, we are going to see experts. Amen. Because things that will baffle people's mind is what we are going to do. Let them call you any name that they want to call you. If you are afraid of the names that they will call you, please, you will not move forward. Christ, they told him you are a witch. He said, okay, no problem. But if I am a witch and I'm fighting against my own kingdom, then it's good for you. So let people call you, you are a witch, and do exploit for God. Amen. Because that is your call. As somebody said, if you want to be the top, you'll be the topic. 
And if you want to be the high also, on high, you'll be the highlights. The Holy Spirit, listen very careful. The Holy Spirit is not given to you to sit at your comfort place. No. The Holy Spirit was given to you to move you from your comfort place to your battle zone. So when the Holy Spirit came upon Saul, he was winning his battles. Then immediately the Holy Spirit left him. He was losing battles. Now the Holy Spirit was on David. David began to win his battles. So the Holy Spirit has given to us to leave our comfort zone and face our battles. And the point is, between your comfort zone and your battle zone, if you want to be in the middle, there is confusion. Between our comfort zone and our battle zone is confusion. Or let me put it this way. Between your comfort zone and your conflict zone, in the middle is a confusion. It's either you leave and go to your battlefield and be free. Because if you fight the enemy, you will run. Then your battlefield will be free there. But if you want to stay in the middle, as some of us, we are doing in the church, we don't know whether we belong to the word or we belong to the kingdom. There will be a lot of confusion. Be on your feet. Yeah. I did not ask you to clap your hands. So if you are clapping your hands, you are clapping this for God. So do it better. <laughs> we are going to use a short time to pray. But I want you to desire that today, God is going to change.